Every day coming through the Y, you'll see kids going to science camp, to our day camp, which is your real traditional camp, resident camp, which as it says in its title, is kiddos spending the whole week overnight at our camp up in the Bighorns. And then we have lots of specialty camps. So this week is theater camp two. So our theater camp two offering is a really special tradition here at the Y that's been going on for many, many years. And it gives young actors from ages nine, about nine to 15, a chance to put on a production in just five days. And so the kids arrive on Monday, we cast the show, we give up parts, they take the scripts home and learn their lines. We give them costumes, we give them sets. And in one week, we're able to put on a full scale production. It's about a 30 to 40 minute production at the Wyo Theater. This year we're doing Cinderella Kids and they're working really hard on it. They have to learn a lot of music. They have to learn a lot of choreography. These kids have to put in a phenomenal amount of work and they, and they do it. What we see is that kiddos start and they get that introduction to camp for three hours a day, get a little sampling, and as they age, the camps get longer until they're ready for resident camp where they can really spend a week away from home. But you just see those kids walk through those different steps of the camp experience over the years. One of the really exciting opportunities we were able to develop this summer involved Sage Arts Gallery. It was a visual arts camp called Go Art, one for younger students, uh, young elementary, and one for older, that was older elementary and junior high kids. Uh, it was taught by Aaron Waddell and they, they were able to do it in a legitimate art studio or with a legitimate art professor um, and we heard just tremendous, tremendous things about what the kids got to do in that and we were really happy with that. We just want to make sure they're here in a safe place and having a meaningful activity. Um, there's only so many long down days of summer before you really are looking for something with a little bit more meat and we hope our camps have that variety and that substance to them to fulfill that need. So we have over a thousand kids go to camp in the summer and 26% of them are scholarship this year. A, a quirky camp that was really well received that I think isn't so well known yet is called Scriveners. It's for that older age group, older elementary through junior high again and it's like young authors kind of work. We, we read a book, we discuss a book, we look at author's craft, they work on creating their own picture books. It's a literacy camp really. I think it would surprise some people how many kids are hungry for that type of group engagement in the summer.